The grievances include non-implementation of minimum wage, deduction of work gear as well as poor accommodation. Workers are housed in spaces with no ventilation, prompting them to look for other housing options. We have a problem of accommodation. Accommodation is not the, that favoring us. As you can see the other side, we try to relocate ourselves with the tents. But some chickens, they come in here and destroy our food. So I think maybe the company can do something for us. The reason why we are standing here, as you can see, we are employees of August 26 at Schuckmannsburg, Luhonono. We want Madam Marta to come give us answers to questions we have regarding our salaries because she instructed officials here not to attend to us. So please, Madam Marta, come to us today. So, we are here waiting for Madam Marta Njala to come give us an answer regarding our money. We want to know where we stand before we go back to work. We have been waiting for her since yesterday. She must at least come today. The Northern Regional Coordinator for the Metal and Allied Workers Union, Richard Musohua, emphasized that consultations and attempts to resolve the issues with management have been ongoing since February. We used to receive some agreement. We used to, to receive positive agreements to say they are going to improve the condition of employment. And when we are gone, the situation is still the same. However, we demanded to communicate to the to the project director, and we were given the name of Madam Massa, Kenel Massa, who is the head of this um, project. We tried to communicate with her, sending emails and grievances to propose a meeting at the site. There was no reply to her until now. The workforce made up of 106 employees is meant to be completing the Shukumansberg Combined School Hostel, which will accommodate learners from flood-prone areas of Cabin North and South. The project had been abandoned and delayed for over five years before the current contract was given to August 26 in September last year. Reached for comment, the site manager who spoke on condition of anonymity stated that none of the workers' salaries were deducted as uniforms are provided for by the company every six months. He also said that accommodation complaints stem from workers employed locally and now find their villages to be too far to commute to work daily. The site manager also stated that the minimum wage issue had been discussed but can only be addressed by one of the company directors who is expected to be at the site on Wednesday. Juliet Siveso, NBC News, Katima Mlilo.